Libras, welcome. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libras. This is your heart spread for the end of December 2021. Love, romance, and relationship reading. But this week, for all the signs, I'm reading really for the one you just can't get off your mind. This one, whoever it is, that you can't get out of your head. And you could be married or in a happy relationship. Maybe still there's someone who goes, that fits that bill. And I just think there's always something to be learned from that kind of energy. Not necessarily meant to be uh, someone you're in a relationship with, but s several have come up that way. So here it looks like an air sign person, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this is their energy of where they're at in and around love and relationships. I want to separate a little bit from you. So the Five of Swords energy is from a past situation for them. Um, so, but it was pretty fresh. So as you're meeting now or when you met, um, they were carrying that energy and, you know, carrying that, you can see they're looking right here into the reading, right? Um, so, and then we'll get to that. This is them reacting to you with the six of wands, but they're just bringing that energy and it and not be a deal breaker in itself. It's just not, not the best energy to drag into a relationship with. And then, uh, interestingly enough, I think maybe it could uh, maybe take guess at something to do with the meeting, but there was a verbal meeting at first, or maybe text, and there was commiseration, and you both probably have a similar situation, you know. Um, in, I think you uh, felt more defeated by your loss of the past relationship here than your person, but you're both carrying this energy of the past uh, battle, the past hurt. Um, I think you could say you're more over it, though. You know, it's like uh, maybe it's more raw with you. It's more obvious with you. Uh, maybe you're more open about talking about it, that kind of thing. Um, and your person might be coming with this five of swords, being a little more uh, combative verbally, a little defensive, um, not want to talk about it here. But one of the things I like right off the bat is <clears throat> here... You're showing up as the king of pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter here, but it's very strong energy. So now if this person is making you feel like the king of pentacles, that's typically going to be a good thing. But I got to think now, I also compare, this is kind of your energy in general, just I want to look at you. Now I want to look at how you're reacting to that person. Well, that's a long way to go, you know, from the ten of swords to the king of pentacles. So this person's all kind of putting you up on a pedestal at this year reading, Libra. And I'm not saying anything bad about that. I'm just saying right now that's what's going on. And I'm kind of, I'm taking, thinking about this as we go along. Now, this is how they're reacting to you in Six of Wands, which is really good energy. I got to say, I, probably very sexual. Um, you could perceive them to be younger than you or some way or maybe they are actually are younger than you um they're probably physically attractive you probably find them you know sexy whatever that means um their energy is very strong um they're probably they're uh, chivalrous even um you know um very you know uh, charming uh kind of uh, energy um but it's really how they're reacting to you and I think it's there's a dynamic there where that makes you feel like you're in this king energy, too. It does give to me some element control, Libra. I'm kind of seeing in this uh, relationship, uh, with, and I do see a relationship here. So this is the eight of pentacles, and it's the bottom of the deck, um, which I do count heavily in this little read. I'm in Cancun, Mexico, so the guy's going around, five-gallon bottles of water going, agua. And I'm good, or I'd be at the window going, uh, aquí, aquí, dos, por favor, but no. So I like this card. It's always positive to me, the Eight of Pentacles. You know, and it shows that this might have been something going on for a while, or something that will go on for a while. It's got the Saturn on it. It's got probably inner sinistry. There's some good uh, Saturn stuff, like the Saturn trine, Venus, that kind of thing. Um you know, because we also see the outcome of the Seven of Pentacles. So, um, now, 
the only thing about this kind of energy with them, it's uh, as as yet, you know, I don't see like the sincerity of it. So it's kind of up to you um, to gauge. But, you know, if you were coming from Ten of Swords, like, how can I put this? It might, you know, if there's, a, say, a place where you get 100% what you want out of love, uh, you know, if you're going, this is kind of like being at zero here. You're at, you love yourself and walk away with your soul. That's a, you know, um, but to go from that, you know, to the king of pinnacles, um, it's could be, there's something going on there where they're kind of artificially boosting the ego or stuff and leaving you something to deal with because now the advice from spirit is the nine of cups. So, that's being emotionally whole in yourself. And I kind of take this as a combination. It's a difficult thing to say because Roy will get, get me a lot of people to want to watch. But, you know, it's a little bit of like check it before you wreck it. And I was thinking about that before this reading started. I never think like that. Um, um, and just kind of real, uh, you're like uh, emotionally connect with yourself and try to rely more on yourself to feel like this King of Pentacles and less upon the adulation and possible, you know, energy, just very powerful energy coming from this person here. Um, and so it's clearly, to, I want to be clear, it's not saying like don't do this relationship or anything like that. <clears throat> it's talking about, I think, like a balance, how things would balance, you know, um, because the advice from spirit for your person is like they haven't really settled on you yet. And these are the most important cards. This is the advice for you and how to engage with your person best, you know. And sometimes the best way is not to give them your ten of cups. It's because the energy needs a balance. And so the best way to deal with them is to be whole in yourself and don't give anything of yourself away and interact from that way emotionally um and you know the next cup when a ten of cup come when a ace of cups comes or any page of cups or any cup comes and you want to take it and well, then you got your ten of cups you know but if, if that's advice and it's sort of like saying you're kind of not in that now you know they're sort of knocked you a little bit off the kilter by you know this this romance energy is what it is um and they need to make a decision because, you know, we usually want to see this, uh, particularly in this position, but, they're, you know, it's under the six of wands. Um, you know, they could be in the relationship and still really be looking. So maybe they're not really feeling like you're the one or they haven't really made the decision um, that you're the one. And with this, if you have a, a cross watcher here, or if you want to share this with your person, I'd love that if it resonates. I like it to be helpful. Um, you know, and you see this man's kind of walking away from the reading. So it's a little bit similar to your energy. It's like balance yourself emotionally, get a check yourself where you wreck yourself, and get yourself in control before you move forward with this. <clears throat> and I think part of that is to really also give your person here this air sign a minute uh, to possibly even walk away. And maybe, honestly, what came to mind, they they maybe need to talk to somebody, like physically interact with somebody, meaning a, a male or female, however, however they roll, uh, whatever combination, whatever. There's somebody that they need to, you know, actions one. They need to go take care of something. And it's like uh, spirits kind of would be reminding them of that in, in that uh, position. And I, I get this strong feeling. I wanted to clarify, but I don't think I need to. I mean, you got the aid of... of Pentacles, kind of your clarification here. Both of you, this is overall energy. This is a relationship that's requiring work. Um, and that's why there's this balance and sort of patience and back and forth. Now, it's going to be, it's not really an instance of uh, let them go and see if they come back. You know they're going to come back. But energetically, they, they need to release all this. And now this is the advice of spirit for relationship as a whole. And when they do, this is important, I believe, energetically, and I think, give me a comment, I'd love it. Uh, if you emotionally, or even you might have thought of this, it's like you need them to really come to you and know that they mean it, you know. Um, 
yeah, kind of in a mature, in a, in a little more mature way. And if you look, there's a difference between a six of wands. You know, this is six of wands could be your like sunshine uh, patriot here. So, but now a knight of wands, you know, that's a warrior. That's a, a adult energy, right? That's strong. And I mean, I think that's what spirit is saying. Then they're going to come back to you with this energy. And note, they're not coming back with a cup though. Okay. So this relationship is ongoing. And here we have, I think it, you got seven months wouldn't make sense. If it's something been going on for a while, that could be seven years. But, um, you know, here you've got eight, maybe eight months, you know. Um, so, but it also shows a real engagement. And I actually like having the seven pinnacles of the outcome to a heart spread. Um, it shows that both of you are going to be realistic. Um, about uh, the relationship and solid and that's going to mean a lot I think coming from this person here I mean they're going to have to show you over this period of time uh, Libras that they are really and truly 100% fully invested you know uh, in this relationship here um, and then I really don't see an outcome beyond that so um, that's where you I think that's where there is we could say that we'll do another reading. Let me know if you don't want a personal reading, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's going to be kind of up to not only them, but this time that has to go by so that you can even energetically absorb this sense of like that they're steady, they're steady, they're steady, you know, before you're finally ready to move on. Now, I got to think you will, and they will, but I, that just sits my sense. It's just... Uh, because you're both pretty well engaged with these pinnacles. So um, it's um, they're going to take care of their business and they're going to come back and you get, guys are going to engage in the nuts and bolts of a relationship, Libra. That's what I see. So let me know what you think of this. Uh, love it if you leave a comment. Um, do hit the like. That helps the channel a lot. And try to get it out there more. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the bell. Thursday is always going to be uh, Libra and Scorpio Day here at Deep Sky Tarot. Thank you, Libras.